What is your least favorite body part? A recent survey found a great majority of Americans feel it's their stomach and that jiggly belly fat that builds up as the years go by. It's unsightly, potentially dangerous, and very tough to lose. But guess what? We have some good news here. The editors of Prevention Magazine say they have found the science that can help end the scourge of belly fat. And their solution is in their new book, The Flat Belly Diet. Prevention Editor-in-Chief Liz Vaccarello is here to tell us exactly how it works. I know Good a lot morning. of people's ears just perked up. Yes. Wait, I can get rid of this belly fat <laughs> yes, that I've been lugging can. around for so many years? By eating. It affects everybody. People yes, that are in does. good shape, bad shape. Um, what is it? Why? I mean, what is it about belly fat? Why is it so easy to get, tough to lose? Well, when we gain weight, many of us gain it in our bellies as we age. Women gain it because their hormones change and they store belly fat where men do. Um, and it's also the most deadly fat you can have on your body. Even small excess amounts of belly fat can up your risk of heart disease, diabetes, dementia, and yeah. even certain kinds of cancers. Why is belly fat, though, worse than other fat that you would have on other because parts of your Because it surrounds body? the organs. It's called visceral fat, and, okay. it's, and the hormones are interacting very closely and very dangerously with the organs in your body. Okay, now you say that there's actually a diet. You can eat yeah. healthy meals. You yeah. can eat good stuff. You've got some chocolate here that we see. Um, you talk about mufas. Please explain what right. mufas are okay. for people. So we went out and we found, can you solve this problem of belly fat? And we found new research that shows eating a diet rich in MUFAs, which are monounsaturated fatty okay. acids, can target belly fat specifically. You'll lose weight everywhere, but you'll lose it in the belly. We put test panels on this diet. They lost up to seven pounds in four days. So you are guaranteeing me and that if 50, I eat MUFAs, yes, the belly fat will yes. go. Now, what are some What are some? There MUFAs? are five categories of MUFAs. Oils, so olive oils okay. and flaxseed oils and oils rich in monounsaturated fatty acids. Nuts and seeds, so pumpkin seeds, peanuts, peanut butter, almonds, walnuts, all of that. Olives, and that includes olive tapenade. Often mm -hmm. on the flat belly diet, we use that instead of mayonnaise or mustard. Um, avocado. Yep. And finally, dark chocolate. Really? Yes. So chocolate is actually dark good Dark chocolate, yes. So you're going to tell me I can eat chocolate and I can lose belly fat. That's right. This is all about, there are three rules to the flat belly diet. Which One is? is to eat every four hours. Okay. The next is to eat four 400 calorie meals. So this okay. is a calorie controlled diet. Okay. And then you have a MUFA at every meal. And scientists now know or think that this is what this MUFA magically lets you reduce belly fat in particular. You never no. thought you can spot reduce but now they're finding that that's the incredible part about yeah. it. I think that you can actually narrow it down to a region. Stress yeah. is also involved in yes. this as well. Yes, yes. This is the, the diet is about food and attitude. So when we're stressed, we have an increased level of cortisol in our body. And yep. that not only makes us hungrier and crave sweets, but it makes us store excess calories as belly fat particularly. And I think what people also need to recognize, this is not just a male problem or a female no. problem. I mean, it affects everybody. It affects all of us. We all want to look better in our genes, but we also want to be healthier. And this is, oh, the belly fat is the most difficult to, to reduce, and this targets it specifically. We're obviously right on the heels of Halloween. You talk about emotional eating. Yes. People are surrounded by yes. candy right now, where the kids are probably still sleeping in some right. households. The parents are in a bad mood or whatnot. That's I had a rough right. week at work or the market they're looking at, and they're throwing down Kit Kats. Right. Well, on the flat belly diet, we ask you not only to keep a food journal about what you eat, yeah. but also why you're eating it. Many of us use, eat for uh, reasons other than hunger. Yeah. So that's one of the things that you do both in the book and on flatbellydiet.com. And just these meals right here, I mean, I, I look at this and I say to myself, okay, popcorn, it's got some, some walnuts right. in there. and It's, it's got cashew chocolate and drizzled chocolate drizzled, drizzled, drizzled popcorn. That's a wonderful snack. Kids and adults can eat it. This is wonderfully elegant pumpkin bisque. The yep. mufa here is the pumpkin seeds. Got it. Um, you can have potatoes on the flat belly diet. This has a walnut blue cheese butter on it. And then after Thanksgiving, if you're looking for a way to use your leftover turkey, we have a turkey cob salad. Got it. Just remember, wash everything down this, with lots of this water. This is sassy water. There is no better way. Special sassy, sassy water. water. Put, a little, yeah, put a little, uh, what do you got? You got a little lime. We have lemon, lemon spearmint, uh, cucumber, and Great, ginger. Liz. Thank you very much, Liz. We do appreciate it. Liz Vaccarello, for more on belly fighting fat, or fighting belly fat, I should say, just go to our partner in health coverage, WebMD.com, search for belly fat. And for more recipes from the flat belly diet, go to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Liz, thanks again.